Okay, for this one, we're given y equals the square root of 1 minus x squared. We're on the interval between 0 and 1. And it's telling us to use five subintervals. So it's been drawn for us already here. We have the curve in black, and then in blue, we have the different uh, rectangles that we're using for lower sum and upper sum. Again, for all these kind of problems, where they give you an equation, you want to definitely make a table of values. So I'm starting with zero over here. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six different x values that I'm going to have on my table here. So I'm going to make space for those. Okay, so this is my table with six different entries on there for the x. And I'll, I'll use my calculator to get the values for uh, the y here. Okay, so first I'm starting with zero and I'm ending with one, but the question is what do I have in between here? Okay, what you're gonna do is you're always gonna take the whole entire interval uh, from zero to one, that's one, we're gonna divide it by five. One divided by five is 0.2. So each of these is 0.2, so we're gonna do 0.2, 0.4, 0.6, 0.8. Okay, so that's gonna be all the different x values. I need to use my calculator and get all the y values. Again, I have these written down, so I'm just gonna put these in. 0.98, 0.92, and then we have 0.8, 0.6, and then zero. Okay, so this will be uh, our exact values. Once we have this, we're going to use our picture in order to do the upper sums and the lower sums. Okay, so let's do, let's do lower first. Now I should mention that I'm using two decimal places here for more accuracy. So there's online homework systems. It's going to tell you how many decimal places to use, but if you use two decimal places and round your final answer to whatever they want, that's going to be better. It'll give you a little bit more accuracy, but again, it depends on, on uh, how picky that online program happens to be. You may need to use more decimal places in order to accomplish that, but in this case, we're just going to use uh, mainly two decimal places. These two come out exact here. So uh, for lower sums, Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, we know that the width of all these rectangles is gonna be 0.2, I'm gonna put that on the outside. And then inside here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add all the Y values, and that'll give me the setup for it. Now, the very first one, we're doing lower sums. So lower sum, actually, this first one is determined by this X value here, 0.2. So I'm gonna put at 0.2, my height is 0.98. And then the next one is gonna be at the height at um, 0.4, then 0.6, and then 0.8. And the last one is gonna be uh, over here. It's gonna end up having a height of zero. So that's gonna occur there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write all five of these because these right here are gonna be your five rectangles. We're not using the first one because we determined that the very first one, the height occurs at 0.2. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write all these in there, the y values, again, that becomes your height that you're gonna be using because that's where it's reading off of each of this. So at, at 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and at one, that's determining the height. There really is another rectangle here, we don't see it, that has a height of uh, zero. If you put all this in, what you're gonna get for the very first one is you're gonna get 0.66 as the area for lower sum. Now I want to do upper sum. Now this has a height or a width of 0.2. Now this one here, that height is determined actually starting at zero. So at zero, I'm going to put one in there as my first height. For all these, it's going to keep on going. I'm going to use all the y values off of this table here. Now the very last one, the height is determined at this point here at 0.8, not at 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do 1.98 all the way up to here and I'm going to stop because that's the very last height is going to be at the x value of 0.8. I'm getting the height off of it uh, from there. Okay, so I have uh, 1 and then 0.98, 0.92, 0.8, 0.6, 0.8, 0.9, 0 0.8, If I calculate all of that, then we get 0.86. So that means that your actual area is going to be between 0.66 and 0.86.